Alright, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting edition of Pokemon Yellow. This is part 20. Last video, we did absolutely nothing but run into, like, running a maze of trash cans, basically. However, this time, we will hopefully get to Saffron City. Um, I have a few ideas how to get in. Hmm. Anyway, so here's a Pidgey, and Pidgeys are like, yeah, pretty weak. So Fatty's just gonna, like, sit on it and dies. And here's a Pidgeotto, and Pidgeotto is slightly more powerful, and I might survive this headbutt. Ew, it does. So that means I have to waste another headbutt on it, which kind of sucks, because, uh, yeah, my PP is getting kind of low. And, like, every time I mention PP in a video, like, there's this, this one random... I don't know, smartass who comments on my videos have something about, like, PP as in urine, and that's just kind of lame, so don't comment on that. It's kind of silly, it's kind of disgusting, and... Anyway, so this person asked me if I found a Carbos, and I don't remember if I actually found one in this playthrough or not, and I think it raises special. Maybe it raises speed. I don't really remember. Um, but anyway, so now I'm just going to go out into Roadkill, because Roadkill is like, you know, a Pikachu, and therefore it's kind of strong against, you know, Finn types even. Yeah. Especially Goldeens, because Goldeens have an obsession with pecking things, which is a um, flying move. Even though, you know, Goldeens don't fly. But anyway, here is a Poliwa Poliwag... And there's like five people who commented in the last video how I call Poliwag Poliwog. The Poliwog is a better name anyway. Threads of fate for the win. Anyway, so I just annihilate that horsey, and now this junior trainer is like, that's messed up. And I'm like, well, you're the one that challenged me. I mean, I, you don't see exclamation points hovering over my head, just saying. Um, and this guy's like, have you found the moonstone? And I'm like, well, yeah. And I have found way too many, actually, because I only really need one. And I actually have, like, what, two in my box? Something like that. So I'm just going to kill his Nidoran, because this guy's stupid and challenges me. And, um, yeah. He also poisoned my fatty, but fatty doesn't really care, because fatty's just going to sleep and then somehow become not poisoned anymore. That makes perfect sense. Um, so, on, oh, he has double kick, which is super effective, but it still does, like, nothing, because fatty's so fat, and I'm just going to, like, um, yeah, poke a flute. Where the hell is the poke a flute? Did I skip it? No, I did not. Um, okay, there it is. So I'm going to play my damn poker flute, which is going to wake up my fatty, and now fatty's just going to be like, I am fully awake now, and I am ready to kill some Nidorans. So he's going to horn attack, which does absolutely nothing. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll just use, um, yeah, headbutt to finish it off, even though headbutt's kind of relling low on PP. I probably should just use surf. Oh, well. I killed it. So here is a Nato Reno, which is the evolved form. So I guess he kind of wants a Moonstone in order to evolve this into a Nato King, which is a much better poke, but yeah, them's the breaks, I guess. So I'm just going to Amnesia once because that's going to raise my special, and then I'm going to hopefully KO with Surf in one hit. But I don't, which is lame, so I'm just going to now finish him off with Surf, I suppose, and that'll be that. Um, yeah, maybe two Amnesias will be required for stronger pokes, I guess. I don't know. Like in the Elite Four, especially against, like, Lorelei, that, that's, that's not actually going to be a beast. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's going to just destroy her. So anyway, um, yeah, I, yeah, anyway, so this person's like, you never know what you're going to catch. And he caught a Magikarp. He caught the best Pokemon in the freaking game. At least, the, my favorite Pokemon in the freaking game. Too bad I kind of have to kill them, because, yeah, they're in my opponent's party. Luckily for me, Magikarps, when, you know, you don't know how to use them, they're kind of weak. And for some reason, like, I don't get it. They're le over level 20. Why didn't they... Why didn't he evolve them into Gyaradoses? I don't know. So this guy's, um, yeah, he catches Magikarp all the time, but apparently he thinks they're weak because that guy's a noob at Pokemon. But anyway, this tree regenerated, like, at the speed of light, even when my Pikachu was on it, which kind of makes me sad. So I'm going to give the Iron to Royal Pain, because Iron is race defense, and Royal Pain is my, like, beast mode piece of crap. Well, actually, not a piece of crap. What am I saying? It's a beast mode awesomeness. That's what it is. So this is a fishing guru's brother, and he's going to give me the final rod I don't have yet, and this is the Super Rod! Super D duper. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk to this guy who says electricity is his specialty. Uh, so I guess he, yep, he's a rocker. So we rock on, man. Trogdor! Anyway, so, oh, that's gay. Freaking Voltorb. Self destructing on me. Freaking suicidal bastard and does nothing to Fatty because Fatty's a beast. And Body Slam, epic. Body Slam is so much better than Headbutt, it's not even funny, so I'm really glad I learned it. But now I'm going to go into, um, 
I don't know, Royal Pain. Royal Pain can beat these electrode things because she's a ground type, and that means she's immune to electricity. But of course she's not immune to Sonic Boom, but Sonic Boom does nothing to me at this point because it does a set amount of damage, and yeah, so now I'm just going to kill it because he got paralyzed and stuff. And that person apparently got unplugged, even though I don't think there's electrical outlets outside, so he was probably unplugged to begin with, but oh well. So anyway... I know there's, like, an item over here I could not get before because it was, like, floating on some random island dock with... and I apparently don't know how to swim, so... I'm going to ride stupid. I probably should be riding Snorlax, but I'm riding stupid. Um, but anyway, so this is a slow bro, and I have, I have no idea you could find these wild. That's actually kind of cool. Um, cool stuff, actually. If I wasn't already set, I might consider using a slow bro. But anyway, I'm going to use this TM-16, which is a payday. And you know what? I might actually teach it to somebody. I'm going to teach it to Roadkill. You know why? Because Roadkill is pretty much faster than anything anyway. And, um... Yeah, so I don't really need quick attack, and I always like extra money, so... Paydays are kind of cool, too. How do you like learning payday? Awesome, my, po my Pikachu is a thief. Basically, my Pikachu's terrible. Actually, all all Pikachu's are horrible people, but yeah, mine especially. I mean, it's suicidal thief. I mean, it likes stealing things with payday, so I guess. But anyway, um, yeah. So let's go this way because we need to get to Celadon City. And um, wait a minute. Wait, no, no. Celadon City's not this way. Pikachu, why didn't you tell me where Celadon City was? You piece of crap. He's probably just laughing at me. Like, laugh, 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 you suck at navigating. Which is kind of true, I do. I kind of get lost, especially in, like, nonsensical worlds like Kanto. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get on the bicycle so I don't have to deal with Pikachu, and it's actually kind of faster, so I don't know why I wasn't riding the bicycle before. And, um, yeah, so now up here is Lavender Town, which we have to go past to get to Celadon. So now we can get on the freaking bicycle again. Now, the reason I'm going to Celadon is I remember a certain vending machine, and I also remember that those Saffron Guard people are, like, thirsty. So maybe I can bribe them. Apparently, I can't bribe them with my, like, thousands of yen that I randomly have. But they will take a bribe from, you know, random drinks, I guess, which is... Kind of cool, I guess. I know they're, like, guarding the Saffron City because apparently the road is closed. I have no idea why the road is closed, considering it's just, like, city in there. There's, like, actually, like, no road. I, I, but I don't know. I don't really get their logic, honestly. I mean, I guess, like, the road in the city is closed. Maybe that's what they're going for. But then again, like, the four guards are guarding, like, four different roads. So, I don't, I don't really get it. But, sure. Anyway, um, so let's... Maybe it has something to do with, like, Team Rocket, because I think Team Rocket took over that town or something. But anyway, so now we're in the Celadon City Department Store, and that means we can, like, go do stuff, like, um, go to the top floor, um, that's where the vending machine is, and order some freaking water, um, because I don't feel like wasting money on, like, a good drink, like lemonade or something, um, because these guards are jerks, as we all know, and yeah... Uh huh. So now we got the fresh water, so we can leave the Celadon department store to give it to the Saffron City Guard. Yay! All right. So now we have to go. But I this game is glitching. I think. Okay. So here we go. Uh, now it's responding to my inquiries. So now we are going to go to the Saffron City Guard and give her the damn fresh water. So. See, she's parched. Can I have this drink? Yes. Sure, you can have this drink if you let me pass. Yep. Yay! I don't know how you can share one drink with four guards, but cool. Now I don't have to worry about the other three either. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And I don't know why I walked in the Pokemon Center. I kind of already went there. And there's a Team Rocket member. And being evil makes him feel so alive. Which is... Strange. But anyway, this is Slifco. And um, since I used their little device to see that ghost, I might as well go thank them. But there's no one at the desk. Maybe they're upstairs. That's what I'm thinking. Holy crap, it's Team Rocket. They must be taking over Slifco or Slyleco. I don't even know how to say it, honestly. I've heard it said so many different ways. But anyway, that's a Golbat. And, um, wow, Team Rocket's getting, like, extreme here with, you know, evolved Pokemon. I never thought I'd see the day. But anyway, here they are, back to the regular Zubats, not the evolved Golbats. Um, 
But yeah, Pikachu's going to kill them either way, because Thunderbolt's like pretty, you know, actually weak coming from Pikachu, but it still kills things with wings, so yeah. Um, Zubat is now dead, and um, yeah, Roadkill's level 35, so I can use a different Pokemon, because I don't feel like using Roadkill anymore, because it's a Pikachu. So now, let's go into... Royal Pain, because Royal Pain is like a beat stick wall piece of crap, and um, Raticate's kind of like annoying, so yeah. So it's going to try to tackle me, but that does like nothing, but just saying. So here's another Zubat, and um, yeah, I do have somebody else that's level 34 who can do pretty good stuff to flying types, and that's stupid, because stupid's like, I have Ice Beam. And that's what he's going to do, he's going to Ice Beam the Zubat. And actually, kind of it's kind of annoying. Uh, stupid's my only um, not third evolved form... Um, starter in my party right now. Besides, of course, Pikachu, because Pikachu's gay and doesn't want to evolve. Um, so I'm just going to evolve this into a Blastoise, this video, because, yeah, it's kind of a good thing to do. So this is a Cubone, and Cubone's kind of weak to water, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to kill it with, you know, a water attack. Anyway, so I should be talking about this, like, maze place. Um, it's Slifco. It's one of the more annoying mazes in the game, because they have, like, these freaking annoying teleporters, and, um, honestly, I, like, most places in this game, I kind of, like, memorized, and I know exactly where to go. This building is not the case, uh, so I will probably just be wandering around, um, this entire time trying to figure it out, and, um, hopefully not missing any items, because I'm pretty sure one of my favorite TMs in the game are in this place, um, which, of course, Earthquake, somewhere in here. And there's a few other good items I just don't want to miss, um... So, yeah. Hopefully I'll get them all, but this is like a nine-story building, and all of them have random teleporters, so... It's going to take a little while to, um, excavate all this junk. Yeah, basically. So anyway, um... Yeah, it might take a video or two. I probably won't finish it this video. But I'm going to start it. So, yeah, this is a scientist, which means, like, apparently some of, like, Slifco's employees have sided with the rockets, so they're kind of jerks. And let's use this teleporter. Wee! And that was weird. And, um, yeah, apparently the scientist is like, you're causing us problems! And I'm glad that the news of my amazingness to destroy Team Rocket has spread this quickly. I just entered the building, and already they're talking about how awesome I am and much of a problem. Anyway, so this is a Electrode, and I probably shouldn't keep in Stupid, because Stupid's like, I want to fight Electrode, because I'm sure I can win, and then like, no, you can't, Stupid, because you suck against those kind of types. So it's going to Light Screen, which is stupid, because I am like a physical attacker, kind of, mostly. Um, and yeah, Body Slam just kind of annihilates that Electrode. And he's like, huh, I lost. And I'm like, yeah, you did, because you suck, and I'm awesome. And he is one of the four Rocket Brothers. That's great, I guess. I guess they're, like, so happy to be part of Team Rocket, they decided to call themselves the Rocket Brothers. Because they're brothers of Rocket. I suppose. So here we go. Here's a Weezing, and, um... Yeah, Weezings are pretty easy. Uh, they don't have very good special, so Stupid's able to 2 it KO with Surf. And I'm level 35, which means I'm one level away, I believe, from evolving Stupid, which would be pretty convenient. And, um, yeah, Golbat does not die to freaking Ice Beam, and then Stupid gets confused. Come on, Stupid. Oh, of course, it has to be Stupid and hurt itself. But then it's no longer confused and just kills it, so that's pretty cool. So lastly, we have a coughing. I'll keep stupid in, because like I said, I do kind of want to evolve it. And uh, Bubble Beam will be a 2 at KO, but I don't feel like wasting Surf PP, because Surf is kind of useful. So, yeah. And the Rocket is defeated, and he's like, my brothers! And I'm like, I'll probably destroy your brothers too eventually, once I find out where the hell they are. Anyway, here's a bed. I can't sleep in them, because, I don't know, I guess it's kind of dangerous to sleep in this place. I kind of agree, but still. So this guy's like, as, that's as far as you'll go. And I'm like, what are you going to do? Even if you do manage to somehow KO my party, I'm just going to respawn in the Pokemon Center and come back. So, yeah, this guy really can't do anything about that. But, yeah. Anyway, so here comes a Zubat. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to Ice Beam it. Eventually, Stupid will become level 36 and evolve, which will be awesome. And here is a Golbat. So that's that's quite a bit better than Zubats because Golbats have... You know, a thousand experience which is pretty nice. And I'm level 36! Yay! So now Stupid will be a Blastoise. Which, you know, I kind of hate Blastoise. Oh, I don't hate Blastoise. I mean, I don't think it's really stupid either. But I, I probably told the story. Yeah, I did. But, yeah. I don't like Blastoise because my best friend always used Blastoise. You know, as a child. And I always used Charizard, so it was kind of just annoying. Um, 
And I used to kind of, like, hate Blastoise because it always beat my Charizard. But now I have a Blastoise of my own, and it's awesome. Except it's stupid, too, so, yeah. It's kind of like a win-lose situation there. Anyway, so here is a Rocket, and he's also one of the four Rocket Brothers. Hey, you, I just destroyed your brother, and now I'm coming to destroy you. So here is Royal Pain. And, um, actually, this is probably not a good matchup, and I misclicked and rock-slided. That's... Definitely not good. And he has Bone Club, which of course gets a crit and is super effective, so I am switching, because I don't want to deal with that anymore. So he's going to use Bone Club against Ro er, Flower Dino, which is also says it's super effective, even though it should be neutral, so I'm just going to eat the Q-Bone, because it doesn't make sense. And now it's delicious, so yeah. So Royal Pain is now level 35, which is exactly where I want it to be, and now Flower Dino, I believe, is my only level 34, so um, yeah, Flower Dino deserves to get some experience here. So I will Razor Leaf the Q-Bone, which is super effective and always a crit, because that's awesome with Flower Dino, and nice. So I will put um, Venusaur to the front of the party, and continue. And I need a card key if I want to get through these rooms, which I'm, you know, 100% sure actually is required to actually beat this maze. But in good time, in good time. So here is a Raticate. You know, these Rocket members basically have the same Pokemon over and over again. They have, like, the Raticate chain, the Golbat chain, sometimes the Cubone chain, because they kind of killed that Marowak and took their children, I think. That's that's why they have Cubones randomly sometimes. Um, they also have, like, what? Oh, they sometimes they'll have those poison Pokemon, like Arbuck chain and Weezing chain. And um, sometimes they'll have the Muck chain, too. So, yeah, they just like poison types, Radicates and um, Gold Bats, and they're, of course, their pre-evolved form. That's pretty much all they use, which makes kind of boring, but at the same time, kind of easy, since none of those Pokemon are really that good. So, I'm going to, yeah, kill this Gold Bat with Stupid, because I just wanted to see its Blastoise back sprite, which is kind of neat. Actually, I think Blastoise has probably the best back sprite in Gen 1. The other two, I mean, Venusaur just looks hideous. Um, and Charizard, I mean, I don't even know what to think about Charizard's back sprite. I mean, it does kind of look like Charizard, but I don't know, it just looks awkward. That's all I can really say about it. So here is Electrode, and actually, he actually plays a smart move in Light Screens, because that's going to reduce Razor Leaf, because all grass are special in this game. But because it's a guaranteed crit, it still does a bunch of damage, and he goes Light Screen again, because he's retarded, and doesn't realize that it doesn't stack, apparently. So here is a Muck, and, um, yeah, so I go into, uh, Trogdor to Burninate it, like I do most, um you know, poison types, and Dig is just going to annihilate it. See, Charizard, I mean, it has, it's kind of cool, but I don't know, it's like wings are folded, which, and it's like arms are kind of like, you know, I have a dog kind of begs. It's kind of just weird, awkward position looking. Oh, well, so Calcium, I believe, raises special, and um, Roadkill probably needs it because, yeah, Pikachu's kind of weak, kind of weaker than pretty much the rest of my party, so I'm going to give it to Stupid, because otherwise Thunderbolt will start doing, like, no damage, and it won't even kill things it's super effective against. So let's climb up the tower, because that makes a lot of sense. And here is another Rocket Brother, so I only need one more after I annihilate all four. Well, actually, of course, after I annihilate this guy. Which I will, without a problem, of course, but still. Alright, so here this is a, um, Golbat. Couldn't have guessed that one. I'll go into Pikachu, because Pikachu can kill things with wings, but of course it gets confused, and Pikachu's freaking suicidal, at least mine is, so it's going to hurt itself. But thankfully it's no longer confused, so it can't, you know, have that excuse to hurt itself and try to kill itself, but, yeah. So Flower Dino's now level 35, which is always nice, and here comes a Drowsy, so I guess I'll just keep in Pikachu. I bet Pikachu can take out a Drowsy, or probably not. See, it doesn't even... <laughs> it's gonna be a 2-hit KO with Thunderbolt. It should one-hit KO things at this point. Oh well. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm going to actually finish it off with Payday, because I kind of want money, because money's good for me. So, yeah. So, anyway, here is a Hypno, and Hypno is kind of annoying, actually. Much more annoying than Drowsy. Roadkill will just die, so I have to switch. And I'm going to go out into Fatty, because he's fat. And I'm going to Amnesia, because now, you know, not even that Hypno's annoying psychic attacks will hurt me, and hopefully I can kill him with Surf. It'll be a 2-hit KO, so that's not so bad, because I know Hypno has pretty darn good special, so that's not such a bad thing. Warg, brothers, I lost, he says. My brothers will avenge me. Too bad I only have one brother to go, which I'll probably find eventually. Whether it probably won't be this video, since I'm nearing 20 minutes. But here's another scientist, before I, let, I go, I guess. Magnemite he has, and Magnemites are not steel in this game, so they don't resist grass. 
And um, that's good because that's almost a gu- well, yeah, it's a guaranteed death as long as I hit with um, Razor Leaf. So here's a coughing which re- does resist grass. So I'm just going to go into Trogdor and burninate it with Dig, even though Dig doesn't actually burninate crap. But it's the best thing I can do it before I get Flamethrower. Yeah. Oh well. No continues left, he says. Apparently he thinks he's in a game, which is kind of true. Mind equals blown. That guy must know he's in a game. So, tenth floor, good of you to join me, he says. I'm like, who the hell are you? But he has a level 33 Machoke, which is probably the strongest thing I've seen from any Rocket member so far. Um, so I'm going to try to kill it with Razor Leaf, but it does not. But it's going to be a 2 at KO, so yeah, Machoke is dead. But thankfully, he was guarding like this huge freaking room of items, and I love items, and that guy's stunned that I beat him, which... I don't know why he is, since I'm, like, annihilating all his friends. So, Carbos raises speed, I think. And, um, Pikachu has a bad habit of not outspeeding things. It probably should. And since, like, speed is one of its, like, only good stats, I might as well give it to him. So he doesn't, you know, outspeeds things he's supposed to. And I'm actually running low on item slots again. I really need to go back to the PC and deposit some of these useless items I'm carrying around. Maybe sell some stuff, too. But anyway, it is another rare candy. And I kind of want to give it to a Pokemon that kind of already, you know, already evolved so I don't waste experience. Or I'll... Um, just leveled. I can't really remember because all these guys should have experience on them, but I think Stupid probably has the least amount, so I'll use it on Stupid. Um, So here is TM26, which is Earthquake. Yes, this is the one I wanted, guys! And I'm going to give it to Royal Pain, because Royal Pain is a ground type and heavily needs Earthquake to be awesome. And um, I really like all of these moves, so I think I'm going to get rid of Rock Slide. Not because I don't like Rock Slide, but because Earthquake is better, and I already have the um, flying coverage with Thunderbolt, so sorry, uh, Rock Slide. Anyway, so rate, comment, subscribe, guys. I will finish hope- this uh, base hopefully next video. Peace out, jerks.